So the question says present worth of a bill due two year hence is rupees two thousand and if the bill were due at the end of four years it would be rupees one thousand five hundred find the rate percent per annum so here we have got a two present worths present worth number one is rupees two thousand and present worth number two is rupees fifteen hundred so we can write down things here present worth one is two thousand and simply the present worth two is given to us as rupees fifteen hundred. There are different time factors also given. Time factor for the present worth 1 is T1. Let us say that is 2 years as it is given. And present worth of the sum due that is 1500 is T2 at the time given is 4 years. So these are the things that has been given to us. Okay, what are we supposed to find out? Find the rate percent per annum. Clearly, we are supposed to know the rate percent per annum. Okay, so let us write down the formula for present worth first so that you can understand how we can relate these things together. So present worth can be found out by present worth can be find out by the present value into 100 divided by 100 plus RT. Okay, this is the formula for present worth. So if it is present worth 1, this has to be PV1 and there is this present worth 2 also given so pw2 can also be written in the same fashion that is present worth 2 into 100 divided by 100 plus rt again the same situation 100 plus rt so rt1 will be for present worth 1 and rt2 will be for present worth 2 okay now we can do these things using a divide factor if we divide both the uh, equations together so what do we achieve we achieve present worth 1 over present worth 2 is nothing but see this present worth 1 into 100 and present worth into 100 this is the same amount okay this is going to be the sum okay that sum is going to be same for both the amounts okay for both the cases the sum is going to be same so clearly we can have this sum into 100 can be get cancelled from both the parts so we can have only left out as 100 plus rt2 divided by 100 plus rt1 this is what is only left out now we can put the present worth value here and the T1, T2 value here. So if we put that, we can find out some equation and find solve for our R. Let us just do that. If we do this, present worth 1 is already given to us as 2000. So we can write it like 2000 divided by present worth 2 is 1500 is equal to 100 plus RT1. R is unknown. Okay. RT1 should be on the denominator side. There should be RT2 coming up. So RT2 value is T2 value was 4, so into 4 divided by 100 plus T1 value was 2, so R into 2. So this is how we can relate things like. Now we can solve this by using some cross multiply. Rather, we can cut few numbers. We can cut the numbers like this to make it easy. Now if you cross multiply, 20 multiplies this part, so it becomes 2000 plus 40 R is equal to 1500 plus 60 R. Okay, if you solve this further, you can uh, find out the value of R. So it is 500 is equal to 60 minus 40 is 20 R. So this gives us the I, R value as simply 25%. That was what the unknown thing in this. So R value comes out to be 25% for our question, which is available in option number B and becomes the right answer. Now, find the present worth when total discount, true discount on a bill due for one year, six month, hence at 10% per annum is rupees 1200. So these values are given to us. Let us find out what all has been given to us. Okay, we are supposed to find out the present worth. So that is something unknown. We have been given the true discount as the true discount value is given as 1200 rupees. Okay, bill due for one year, six months. So we are supposed to find out the time. The time value is clearly one year, six months. That is one and one and a half year. Okay, which is nothing but three by two of a year. Okay, so the time value to be used is one and a half or three by two. What is the rate value? Rate value is clearly given to us as 10% per annum. So these are the all the values given. So we can simply do what? We can simply apply the present worth formula, which is present worth is equal to 100 into true discount over R into T. 100 into true discount over R into T. This is the present worth value. Let us put all the value that are with, there with us. 100 into true discount value is 1200 divided by rate value is 10 into time value is 3 by 2 okay if you solve this further this is ultimately coming out to be 8000 so that what is the present worth rupees 8000 rupees okay which is available in option number d and that becomes the right answer for us now the sum due 
टू वन नाइन डेज हेंस हुज प्रेजेंट वॉर्थ एट फाइव एंड हाफ परसेंट ऑफ रुपीज फोर हंड्रेड इज सो दिस इज वट वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड आउट सो लेट अस सी वन बाई वन वट ऑल थिंग्स हैव बीन गिवन टू अस क्लियर दी द रेट वैल्यू इज गिवन टू अस एज फाइव एंड हाफ परसेंट विच कैन बी रिटर्न एज फाइव इंटू वन बाई टू इज गोइंग टू बी ऑलवेज इलेवन बाई टू परसेंट ओके दिस इज द रेट वैल्यू इलेवन बाई टू परसेंट वट एल हैज बीन गिवन टू अस वी हैव बीन गिवन द टाइम वैल्यू ओके द टाइम वैल्यू इज हाउ मच टाइम वैल्यू इज टू वन नाइन डेज सो ऑब्वियसली इन द फॉर्मुला ऑफ प्रेजेंट वॉर्थ इन द फॉर्मुला ऑफ टू डिस्काउंट वी ऑलवेज सपोज टू टेक द टाइम इन द ईयर so it has been given in 219 days so we'll assume uh, we we'll, we can convert this into uh, years so one year has got 365 days okay one year has got 365 days rather we can say 365 days completes one year okay so one day will complete how many one by 365 year how many days we have we have got 219 days so 219 days will com complete how much 219 by 365 day year Okay, two one nine days we complete how many year? Two one nine by three sixty five. So the time value is two one nine by three sixty five year. That's what we're gonna use. Rate value is eleven by two. That's what we're gonna use. Now let's have the true discount value. That's what is found found out. Okay, some value is already given to us as rupees four hundred. Okay, now let's have the true discount formula. Okay, then in the true discount formula we can obviously replace the sum value. Okay, so let us do that. So true discount is always Sum into R into T upon hundred. That is the simple formula. True discount is sum into R into T upon hundred. If we use this true discount formula, then we can find out the true discount as sum value is four hundred. So it's four hundred into rate value was eleven by two. So let's keep eleven on the numerator side and let's bring two on the denominator side. Into T value is two one nine by six three sixty five. Let's keep two one nine on the numerator and bring the three sixty five on the denominator side and over hundred. So hundred comes in here. If we further solve this equation, we are reaching to the final value of true discount. The final value of true discount is coming out to be thirteen point two zero. Okay, that is the final true discount. But what we are supposed to find out the sum due. So we are supposed to sum due to the nine hands whose present worth is five hundred rupees four hundred is. So we are supposed to find out the sum due. So this sum due can be found out by there is a simple formula of sum due. Okay, for the sum due we are supposed to find out present worth plus true discount. The sum due is always calculated by the formula present worth plus true discount. We have already found out the present value present worth. So we are supposed to find out the sum. Okay, the sum is going to be what? Is going to be four hundred. That was the present worth plus true discount. We just calculated to be thirteen point two zero rupees. If we add them together, we're going to reach to our answer, which is four one three point two zero. So that is going to be the sum. Let us see where all it is available to us. It is available at option number D. So it becomes the right answer for us. Now let's have question number four. Find true discount. TD is true discount with the banker's discount of rupees one six two zero due. On certain time, hence rupees, hence is rupees one sixty two. Okay, so what all have been given to us? Let us find out that. Okay, we have been given the sum. The sum value is simply one six two zero. What else has been given to us is bankers discount. We can write that BD for that. Okay, bankers discount is given to us as how much rupees one sixty two. This much has been given to us. Now let us use some equation so that we can find out the true discount. Okay, that is there. There is equation. Equation says or the expression says sum is always equal to banker's discount into true discount over banker's gain. This is what is the formula. Sum is always equal to banker discount into true discount divided by the banker's gain. So let us see. Can we evolve any formula of in terms of sum and the banker discount from here? Yes, we can. If we bring down the banker discount here, then we can. We are left out with true discount over banker's gain in the same formula. So if we do that, we're gonna reach to a thing that true discount divided by banker's gain is always equal to sum divided by banker's discount. And how much is the sum? Sum is one six two zero divided by how much is the banker discount? It's already given to us as one sixty two. So divided by one sixty two, which can be written as ten by one. So clearly, true discount by banker's discount is coming out to be ten by one. Okay, this is just the ratio. These are not the numbers. But we can use this ratio as what we can write as we understood that true discount over banker's discount is coming out to be ten <clears throat> by one. Now let us see true discount. If your true discount is rupees ten, then 
banker's gain will be how much? Rupees 1. Clearly, as this is what this ratio suggests, if the true discount is going to be 10 rupees, then the banker's gain will be always 1 rupees. So if the banker gain is 1 rupees, then how much is banker discount? Banker discount is nothing but true discount plus banker's gain, which is going to be 10 plus 1 is going to be 11. So if the true discount is 10 rupees and banker gain is rupees 1, so banker discount will be how much? Rupees 11. Okay. So we can again rewrite this. What? If the banker discount is 11, then true discount is how much? Rupees 10. That's what has been already written there. Banker discount 11. So true discount is 10. But how much is the banker discount given to us in the question? The banker discount was 160, 162. So if banker discount is 162, then true discount will be how much? We can use a simple unitary method that is 10 by 11 into 162. Okay, banker discount is 11, so true discount is 10. So banker discount is 162, so true discount is 10 by 11 into 162. If we solve this further, we're going to reach to a value of 147.27. So that's what is going to be the right answer in our case. The banker discount ultimately coming is, is 147.27, which is available in option number C. Question number five, the true discount on rupees 300 due to your hands is rupees 50. Find the rate percent. What all has been given to us? We have been given true discount on rupees 300 due to your hands. The true discount value is rupees 50. Time factor has been given to us as two years. What else? Uh, true discount on rupees 300. So the, the, the value of 300 is also given to us. Okay. So true discount is this. So the amount value is given to us as 300 okay is two year hence is rupees 50 find the rate percent so clearly we are supposed to find out the rate percent value this is going to be easy as we know the formula of true discount also okay the true discount is always uh, rather true discount can be calculated by sum into rate true discount can be calculated as sum into rate into time over 100 this is how the true discount is always calculated to be now here the sum value is how much sum value is always amount minus true discount what is the sum value to be used in this the sum value is not directly given to us but what has been given to us is amount and the true discount is already given to us so some value can be written as amount minus true discount this is nothing but 300 minus 50 which is 250 rupees so the sum that is to be used in this formula is rupees 250 if you put all these things in the formula of true discount they can we can clearly find out the rate value see the true discount is 50 is equal to some value is 250 into rate value is unknown into time value is 2 divided by 100 okay if you solve this for your r 50 can cut 250 by 5 5 can cut this 100 by 20 so the r value is clearly coming out to be 10%. So that's what was interested to come. R value is 10%, which is available in option number B and becomes the right answer for us. Now, an electric fan was bought rupees, bought for rupees 600. Clearly, the cost price is 600 rupees. Okay, cost price is nothing but 600 rupees and sold the same day for rupees 688.50. So this is going to be the sum. Okay, at a credit of nine months and thus gaining 2%. Okay, so we can clearly write down the values. Selling price is always, there's a formula for selling price. What is that? 100 plus gain percent over 100 into cost price. That is the basic selling price formula that we have learned in profit loss also. Selling price is always equal to 100 plus gain percent over 100 into cost price. If you use this, selling price is going to be 100 plus the gain percent is, they say gaining 2%. So, 100 plus 2 over 100 into cost price, how much? 600. They bought it for 600. So, if we solve this further, this is going to be 600 into 102 by 100, which is nothing but 612. So, that is what is the selling price. Selling price value is 612. Now, let us find the total, the true discount. The true discount is always the sum minus the selling price. Okay. How much is the sum? It's 688.50 as given here. And the same day for 688.50, some minus selling price, that is minus 612. If you subtract them, you're going to get to reach your true discount, which is 76.50. So that is what is the true discount we have already calculated. 
we are supposed to find out the rate percent. So clearly we can have the, the true discounts formula in the scene, which can give us to calculate the rate value also. What is the true discount formula? It is going to be true discount is cal, uh, can be calculated uh, by using selling price into rate into time over 100. This is also the amount. So let us use the formula. True discount is already there with us. So 76.50 is equal to the selling price is 612 into uh, rate value is still unknown to be found out. Time value is 9 months. So clearly we will not take the time in months. Time value was given as 9 months. So we will take it as 9 by 12 of a year because one year has got 12 months. So we'll keep 9 above and we'll bring down the 12 in the denominator into 100. Okay. Now clearly we are supposed to solve for the rate percent value. If we solve that, we can cut few things. Okay. We can cut few things. We can cut this 100 as by 2. So it can be 50. It can be 306. We can again cut this 50. So it is 25. This 306 can be again cut. And 306 if we cut by half it becomes 153 and then we can solve this 153 is going to be double of 76.50 only okay so this can cut 153 by 2 so if we solve this completely the r value is coming out to be ultimately 50 by 3 which is 16 2 by 3 percent so that is going to be the right answer the rate value is coming out to be 16 2 by 3 percent which is available in option number b and becomes the right answer for us now the difference between the SI and true discount, simple interest and true discount on a certain sum of money, the sum is unknown, at 6% for 3 months is rupees 9. So difference has been given to us. Okay. So let us just find out one by one. First of all, we'll try to find out simple interest. Then we'll uh, put the formula of true discount and then we'll, def then we'll take the subtraction of them and we'll equate that subtracted value to the what is given as rupees 9. So this is what is the strategy. So let us quickly find out the simple interest. So simple interest is nothing but principal. That is, let us say the principal is X into rate into time over 100. That is a very simple formula of simple interest. Okay. So let's say the principal value is X only. So put the values of all the rate and time given to us. Rate value is given to us as 6%. Time value is 3 months. So 3 months will be written as 3 by 12 of a year. If you put the all the values, you're going to reach to simply simple interest as x into rate value is uh, uh, 6 into time value is 3 by 12 into 100. Okay, which comes out to be simply 3 by 200 x. So this is what is the simple interest value. This is what is the simple interest value. Now, let us find out the other part, which is true discount. So true discount, we have a formula for true discount, which is going to be uh, present worth into rate into time over 100. That is the true discount formula. Okay. So clearly we have assumed the pre present worth to be X only. Okay. PW into R into T. Or we can use another thing that is PW into uh, PW into R into T over 100. This can be used here. So clearly let us put all the values. Okay. The, uh, the principal is X. Okay. Then there is... Uh, the rate percent is given to us as 6. So x into rate percent is 6 into time factor is 3 by 12. That is 3 by 12 of a year divided by 100 plus RT. That is another one. Okay. 100 plus RT. This is going to be 100 plus RT. Okay. So 100 plus rate value is 6 again and T value is 3 by 12. So R into T. That is 6 into 3 by 12. If we solve this further, we're going to reach to 3 by 203 of x. So this is the value of true discount. The earlier one is the value of simple interest. Now, what has been given to us is the difference between simple interest and true discount. So, let us find out the difference. We have both the things. So, simple interest minus true discount. If we put this in our, in this order, simple value, simple interest is 3 by 200x minus true discount is 3 by 203x. Okay. And this particular difference is given to us as rupees 9. So, clearly, we need to solve this equation further to get the x value. Okay, if we take it further, then how much is going to be? Let us solve this. Okay, this is equal to 9. We can take x as common and rather we can take 3x common more. So if we take 3x common, it is going to be 1 upon 200 minus 1 upon 203. And this is going to be equal to 9. This 3 can cut this 9 by 3. So clearly x can be coming out as, if you solve this further, this is coming out to be 40,600. So that is the x value. Okay, that's what they were asking for. The sum, the sum value is coming out to be rupees 40,600. Let's see where it is available. It is available in option number A. So it becomes the right answer for us.
क्वेश्चन नंबर एट फाइंड द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट पर एन एम इफ सिंपल इंटरेस्ट ऑन रुपीज सिक्स थर्टी फॉर टू ईयर्स इज इक्वल टू ट्रू डिस्काउंट ऑन रुपीज सेवन फोर्टी फॉर द सेम टाइम एंड रेट ओके सो क्लियरली सिंपल इंटरेस्ट इन द फर्स्ट स्कीम हैज टू बी मेड इक्वल टू ट्रू डिस्काउंट ऑन द अदर स्कीम दैट इज द क्लियर एजेंडा यू कैन राइट इट आउट राइट इट डाउन हेयर ऑल्सो सिंपल इंटरेस्ट ऑन रुपीज सिक्स सिक्सटी फॉर टू ईयर्स इज गिवन इक्वल टू द ट्रू डिस्काउंट ऑन रुपीज सेवन फोर्टी and for 2 years how many year 2 year okay same rate he said the same rate and same time so it will be 2 year and the same rate will be also same okay so clearly we can see the present worth of rupees 740 due 2 year hence that's what has been said 2 year hence 2 years ahead is going to be 630 that's what we can understand through this present worth of rupees 740 is always going to be after 2 years is as 630 so here where we can bring down the situation the true discount formula okay the true discount formula is always two year hence is rupees 630 that's what is the is the situation given so true discount has to be calculated so true discount can be always calculated by subtracting both the things okay so we can always write it like true discount is always going to be sum minus the present worth okay let us find out how much is the sum sum is 740 Minus how much is the present worth? Present worth is six thirty. So true discount is coming out to be how much? Rupees one one zero. So that is what is true discount coming. Now we can put apply the true discount formula and relate the rate. What is the true discount formula? Okay, the true discount formula can be uh, calculated uh, for the purpose of rate is going to be uh, present worth into rate into time upon. Hundred. That is the true discount formula. If you apply the rate formula for this, the rate is always going to be true discount into hundred divided by true discount into hundred divided by present worth into time. So that's what we're going to use as the rate formula. So clearly, rate will be coming as true true discount into hundred. So true discount is one one zero into hundred divided by present worth into time. So present worth is how much? Six thirty into time value is how much? Two year hence. So it is two. If we solve this further, we can cut down few things. Okay. If we solve this further, the rate value is ultimately coming out to be eight point seven three percent. So that's going to be the right answer. Eight point seven three percent, which is available in option number C, and becomes the right answer for us. Okay. Now the banker's gain. On a certain sum due one year hence is three by five of the banker discount rate percent per annum is so we have give, been given expression okay what expression is that the banker gain is saying is three by five of the banker's discount okay as they say the banker's gain on a certain sum due one year hence is rupees thirteen by fifty. Of bankers discount, the rate percent per annum is okay. So we have been given a connection between the bankers gain that is BG and the bankers discount. So he says banker gain is thirteen by fifty times of the banker discount. So we're going to use this. Okay. So we can do this formula by assuming something. Let's say the banker discount is X. Let us do it like this. Then if the connection is this banker gain is 13 by 50 of banker discount so banker gain will be how much 13 by 50 of x okay this is what we have evolved now there is a formula for true discount what is the formula for true discount true discount is always bankers uh, bankers discount minus bankers gain that is the true discount formula if we use this using the two values given up so it can be written as x minus 13 by 50x if we solve this to taking the lcm this is coming out to be 37 by 50x so that is what is the true discount coming okay that is 37 by 50x now let us use the sum formula okay let us use the sum formula sum formula is nothing but banker discount into true discount divided by banker discount minus true discount this is the formula for the sum okay the sum is always banker discount into true discount divided by banker discount minus true discount let us use this formula we have got both the values together so it's going to be Banker discount is x multiplied by true discount is thirty seven by fifty x divided by banker discount is x minus true discount is thirty seven by fifty x. Okay, if we solve this further, this is coming out to be thirty seven by fifty x square into fifty by thirteen x. Okay, if we solve this further, this is ultimately coming out to be thirty seven by 
thirteen x. So that is what is the sum value coming out to be thirty seven by thirteen x. Now they have said the simple interest. For the simple interest, they have given the time also, and we gonna use that. And using that, we can apply the formula of simple interest and find out the rate percent value also. What they have said: simple interest on rupees thirty seven by thirteen. That is the sum only. That just that just we have calculated the sum value as thirty seven by thirteen x. So simple interest on thirty seven by thirteen x for one year, okay, is going to be rupees x. That's what we had assumed. So let us apply that formula. Okay, we can apply the formula for rate. Rate value is going to be hundred into the simple interest value divided by the principal into time. Okay, if we use this formula, it's going to be hundred into simple interest value is x divided by principal is going to be your thirty seven by thirteen x into time value is one. If we solve this further, we're gonna reach to see x and x get considered can get cancelled. So rate value after this calculation is coming out to be thirty five point one four percent. So that's going to be the right answer thirty five point one four percent. Let us see where it is available. It is available in option number. A and becomes the right answer for us. Now, question number ten: The simple interest and true discount on a certain sum due three years, two months, hence at five point six percent rate, are rupees ninety one and rupees seventy eight respectively. So there has been simple interest and true discount. So clearly, simple interest value is given as rupees ninety one. True discount is given as as they say respectively, so it is seventy eight. What else has been given to us? We have been given the time time value is three years and two months, so it's going to be three years and two months. We can convert this two months into year by three year plus two by twelve years. Okay, two by twelve years. Okay, that is going to be one by six. Okay, three year and two months. Okay, so this is what it is going to be three plus one by six of year. Okay, if we solve this further, this is going to be nineteen by six year. That is the time value. Okay, rate percent is also given to us as five point six percent per annum. So these are the values that have been given to us. We are supposed to find out the sum. So we can have a direct formula of sum as well. Instead of calculating in a longer way, we can have a direct formula for sum. Sum's direct formula is simply going to be simple interest into true discount minus simple interest minus true discount. Okay, simple interest into true discount. This could also be said as banker's gain. Sum is equal to simple interest into true discount divided by simple interest minus true discount. Let us see if we can put all the things here. Simple interest is ninety one. True discount is going to be seventy eight divided by true uh, simple interest is ninety one minus seventy eight is the true discount. If we solve this further, this is coming out to be ninety one into seventy eight divided by thirteen. Okay, this thirteen get cut. This ninety seven by Seven and ultimately you are coming as seventy-eight into seven is going to be five forty-six. So that is the sum value. At least ultimately is rupees five forty-six. Let us see where it is available. It is available in option number B. So using the simple formula, we can easily do the things without uh without using to doing to do the longer calculations. Now, if the rate percent and time for the bill are numerically equal. Okay, what they say, rate percent is equal to time. This is what they say. Okay, and also the true discount is thirty six times the banker's gain. Find the rate percent. Okay, what they say, true discount is thirty six times of banker's gain. This banker's gain is nothing but simple uh, the sum itself. Okay, now let us use a formula. What is that formula? True discount is always banker's gain or the sum into Into hundred divided by R into T. That is the formula. Or we could have written it in the other way also. That true discount into R into T upon hundred is the banker's gain. So we have manipulated the same formula by true discount is equal to banker's gain into hundred by R T. Okay. Let us use it. We have we know that true discount is going to be thirty six times B G. So let us replace T D by thirty six B G in the formula. So we can write here thirty six banker's gain banker's gain is equal to Banker's gain into hundred divided by R T. See R is equal to T, so we can write here R into R, which is nothing but going to be R square. So let us simplify this further. So this is going to be thirty six R square is equal to see this banker's gain and banker's gain will cut from both the sides. Okay, thirty six R square is going to be hundred. So R square is going to be hundred by thirty six. So simply our R is going to be ten by six, which is nothing but 
1.6 percent approximately okay let's see where our this r equal to 1.6 percent is matching let us see it is available in option number c so it becomes the right answer r value is 1.6 percent okay Harshit purchased a bag for rupees 1850 in cash and sold it to Puneet for rupees 1957. So all the things are given to us, the cost price also. Okay. At a credit of six months. So we are supposed to calculate the selling price separately because there is a credit taken of six months. If the rate of interest is 6% per annum, then uh, Harshit has a gain, a loss or what? So we are supposed to find out the uh, selling price. We know already know the cost price. We are supposed to find out the selling price. Okay, using the present war formula and when we know the selling price and cost price together, we can easily calculate whether there is a gain or a loss or what. Okay, that is the strategy. So, the cost price is given to us as 1850 rupees. Okay, selling price will be calculated by selling price will be present worth of rupees 1957 which is due for how much months? Which is due for 6 months. That is what is going to be uh, we'll be doing. Selling price is present worth of rupees 1957 due in six months. So let us find out the present worth of rupees 197 and due in six months. Okay. Using the rate formula is rate value is six percent. Okay. So let us find out the present worth. Okay. So selling price is going to be uh, present worth can be calculated by 100 into the sum value, which is 1957 divided by 100 plus RT. So it's going to be 100 plus rate value is six. Time value is he says six months. So six month is six by twelve of a year. Okay, which formula has been used here? The formula used is hundred into sum divided by hundred plus RT. This particular formula has been used up here. Okay, so if we solve this further, the selling price is coming out to be hundred into one nine five seven is one nine five seven double zero divided by hundred plus six into six and a half six into one by two that is three. So it's going to be always hundred and three. Okay, if you cut the things here, it can be directly cut and the value coming out to be 1900. So selling price is coming out to be 1900. Cost price was 1850. So clearly we can see there is a gain. Okay, what is gain? Whenever the selling price is higher than the cost price, we say that there is a gain. So here the selling price is higher. How much higher? Selling price minus cost price, which is going to be 1900 minus 1850 which is rupees 50 so we have got a gain of rupees harshit has got a gain of rupees 50 in this particular location which is available in option number b a gain of rupees 50 now find the banker's discount on a certain sum at 12 percent for four months if the true discount on the same sum that is the same sum that is to be used in the first one rate the same rate that is 12 percent and time the time is also the same that is four month rupees is rupees 450 okay true discount has been given as 450 we are supposed to find out the banker discount okay banker discount is unknown with us true discount we is also already given to us as 450 okay the rate value is given to us as 12 percent okay time value has been given to us as four month that can we can write it as four by 12 that is one by three year okay so this is what we can do now we know there is a banker's gain is nothing but simple interest on true discount. Banker's gain's definition is what? Banker gain is nothing but simple interest on the true discount. Okay. How, about, how much is the simple interest? Is going to be true discount into rate into time over 100. That is the simple formula for simple interest on TD. That is TD into R into T upon 100. Let us put all the values. TD value is given to us as 4. Okay. TD value is already given to us. Okay. So let us use the formula. This is going to be 450 into uh, rate value is given to us as 12%. Uh, so it's going to be 12 into time value is given to us as 4 months. So it's going to be 4 by 12. That is 1 by 3 of a year. 1 by 3 into 100. So this is what we are supposed to solve. Okay. Which comes out to be ultimately rupees 18. So that is what is the banker's gain. Rupees 18. Now we have a formula one more time. What is that formula? Banker's gain is nothing but banker's discount minus true discount. We all did know this formula. Banker's gain is nothing but banker's discount minus true discount. If we use this formula, banker's gain is 18. Banker discount is unknown to us. Minus true discount is 450. Okay. So if we so solve this, you're going to get the banker's discount value as 450 plus 18. That is nothing but 468. So that is going to be the right answer. Banker discount value is coming out to be rupees 468, which is available in option number C and becomes the right answer for us.
now 14 the present worth of some due sometimes hence is rupees 576 so clearly the time value is not given to us and banker's gain is rupees 16 bg is given to us find the true discount so what all has been given to us we have been given the present worth as rupees 576 we have been given the banker's gain that is simple interest on true discount is given as 16 rupees and we have been given the true discount as uh, we, we are supposed to find out the true discount using these two values okay so let us have the formula in the scene clearly we can write down the formula of true discount in terms of present worth and banker's gain and the formula simplest formula is true discount is always going to be under root of present worth into banker's gain that is what going to be the simple interest formula or the true discount formula here so let us put all the values present worth is already given to us as 576 into banker's gain is already given 16 okay so we can find out this see these are the or both are the perfect square so 576 is the perfect square of 24 so in place of this 576 uh, we can clearly write 24 and in place of the 16 we can write 4 okay so true discount is going to be 24 into 4 which is nothing but rupees 96 so this is what is the right answer 96 is the true discount which is available in option number a and becomes the right answer for us now what is the rate of interest when the present worth rupees 108.15 due in 146 days is rupees 105? Let us see what all has been given to us. Okay. What is the rate of interest? That is clearly rate of interest is unknown when the present worth. So present worth is given as rupees 108.15 due in 146. Rather, 10 is 105. Present worth of rupees 108.15. So there are some values given to us as Okay, the sum value has been given to us as 108.15, present worth is 105 and uh, the time factor that is, has been given to us is 146 days. So clearly we need to convert this 146 days into year. One year has got 365 days. So 146 days has got how many years is divided by 365. Okay, that is simply 2 by 5 of a year. So time value is also given to us. Now we can have the formula. Banker discount is always going to be banker's gain minus the present worth. Okay, let us use the formula. The banker's gain is going to be 108.15. That is the sum value also minus present worth is how much is given as 105. If we solve this, the banker's discount is coming out to be 3.15. That is the banker discount. Okay, let us find out the rate value. Okay, so obviously the rate value can be applied using the formula of uh, uh, true discount okay so the rate value can be written as the banker's discount into 100 into okay into 100 divided by the uh, the value of uh, present worth into the t okay this is what is the rate in rate formula we could have written this formula in the other form of banker's discount also but we can use it this way also let us write down Banker discount into 100 divided by present worth into T. Banker discount is already there available with us is 3.15 into 100 divided by present worth is already available with us. That is 105 into time factor is 2 by 5. Let's write 2 here. And because of 2 by 5, let's write 5 over in the numerator side also. We could have written this in the denominator also. Then 5 would have got 105. No problem. We can take it in the numerator side also. Let us solve this equation. If we solve this, 5 can cut this 105 by 21. 21, 5, ja, 105. Okay, then this, this 2 can cut this 100 by 50. Okay, so we are left out with 3.15 into 50 by 21. If we solve this further, this is exactly coming as 7.5%. So that is going to be the rate value that is 7.5%. Where Let's see where it is available. It is available in option number C. And that's what is going to be the right answer okay so the question says bankers gain on a certain sum due one six by four years hence is three by eleven of the bankers discount so clearly there is a connection between bankers gain and banker discount given as bankers gain is equal to three by eleven times of banker discount this is the first connection that has been given okay what else then the rate percent per annum is so clearly we are supposed to find out the rate percent is unknown okay the time value is given to us as one six by four so we can clearly come com convert this into simple fraction that is one six by four is nothing but four one four plus one plus six that is going to be ten by four or two point five year or two point five year that is the time factor given to us now <laughs> let us assume 
okay because the banker discount and and bankers gain nothing is given so we'll have to assume one thing let us assume bd is equal to x let us say the banker's discount is x so clearly there is an indication banker's gain is 3 by 11 of bds so bg is going to be 3 by 11 of x okay this is the true thing that we get now we know a simple formula true discount is always banker discount minus banker's gain okay if we use this it's going to be always x minus 3 by 11 x okay which is coming out to be 8 by 11x. So the true discount has come out to be 8 by 11x. Now, let us use the sum formula because using in, in the place of sum formula only then we can have the rate percent calculation. Some value in terms of banker discount and true discount can be calculated as sum is equal to banker discount into true discount divided by banker discount minus true discount. Okay. If we use this formula and solve it further, we're going to get the things. Okay. <laughs> banker's discount is going to be x <coughs> into 8 by 11x divided by x minus 8 by 11x. Okay, that's how it is going to be solved. If we solve this further, this is coming out to be 8x square by 11 into 11 by 3x. That is nothing but 8x by 3. So that is what is the sum value come out. Sum value has come out to be 8x by 3. Let us take it further. Now, Clearly, we have been given a simple interest situation that simple interest on the sum, the sum value is 8x by 3 here for how many years? 6, 1 by 4 years. Okay, the 6, 1 by 4 years is nothing but 10 plus 1, 11 by 4 years. Okay, is given out to be rupees x because that's what we had assumed to be the banker's gain and banker's gain we had assumed to be uh, x only. Banker discount we had assumed to be x only. So clearly that simple interest is equal to banker's discount only. So it should come out to be x. Now if we further solve this, the rate value, let's have the rate formula in the scene. Rate value is simple interest into 100 divided by time into the principal value. Okay, we have got all the values in terms of x. So rate value is going to be 8x, that is simple interest into 100 divided by Time value 3 into 8 by 3x into 25 by 4. That is the time value only 25 by 4. Okay. If we solve this equation further, we're going to get to reach the rate value as 16%. So that is going to be the right answer. The rate value is 16%. Let us see where it is available. It is available in option number P and becomes the right answer for us. Now, question number 17. What they say? <clears throat> A rupees 220 rupees 20 is the true discount on rupees 260 due after a certain time so clearly the true discount value is given to us as rupees 20 okay what else they give us what will be the true discount on the same sum due half of the former time if the rate of interest being the same so rate of interest is same for both the scheme time one is uh, the time two is nothing but half of the time of time one okay this is what is the connection okay on the other side now, let us establish something. Okay, let us, we can write SI on rupees, how much? See, the sum value is 260 and the true discount is 20. So, how much is the simple interest or the sum? Sum is going to be your always the present worth minus the true discounts. How much is that? Is going to be 260 minus 20. Okay, so we can clearly write SI on this 260 minus 20 is 244. A time, a certain time that time is not given to us. We'll assume that as anything. For a certain time is how much? Rupees 20. That is the true discount only. The SI on 250 for a certain time is for the certain time is rupees 20. Now, SI on the same 240 because he say the same sum. He say for the same sum for a half the time because he say the next time the time is half. For half the time will be how much? Okay, see the simple interest is directly proportional to time. So if the simple interest for complete time was 20, so for the same principle, simple interest for the half the time will be just half of the older simple interest, which was 20. So you should use just the half of 20. That is what is 10. Okay, now <clears throat> we can write true, a true discount on rupees 250 is going to be rupees 10. That is the simple interest of 250. Okay, now. If the true discount on 250 is 10, we are supposed to find out true discount on rupees 260. Okay, this is again proportional. True discount on 250 is 10. So true discount on 1 rupees will be 10 by 250. So true discount on 260 will be how much? Will be simply 10 by 250 into 260. That is what we have done using the ratio method. 
or the unitary method if you solve this further 10 divided by 2 into 260 it comes out to be 10.40 so that's what is going to be the true discount on rupees 260 as what it was asked in the question itself so that is the right answer available in option number a okay let's have the next one the true discount on a bill due nine months at 16 percent per annum is rupees 189 what is the what is the amount of the bill? Okay, they're asking for the amount. So let us have the present worth formula in the situation. Present worth is going to be the time value has been given to us as 9. Okay, the rate value has been given to us as 16. Okay, let us keep on writing it here. 16% is the rate value. Time value is given to us as 9 months. So it's going to be 9 by 12 of a year. Okay and uh, the true discount value is given to us as 189 so it's always going to be true discount into 100 divided by r into t okay if you use this formula it's going to be 189 into 100 divided by r value is 16 into t value is 9 by 12 okay if you solve this further you can cut few things okay this 12 can be cut for 3 ja 12 and 4 4 ja 16 then this 4 can cut this 100 by 25 and you can solve this further and which comes out to be 1575 so that is the present worth coming is rupees 1575 now he is asking us what is the amount so clearly amount can be done by the present worth plus the true discount value if you add them together the, it is 1575 plus true discount was 189 if you add them together this is further giving us rupees 1764 that is the total and where it is available, it is available in option number D and becomes the right answer for us. Now, if the banker's discount on a bill at 5% per annum is rupees 50, find the value of it after 6 months. Okay. Clearly, he has given us certain values. He has given the banker discount to us as rupees 50. Rate value is given as 5% per annum. Find the value of it after 6 months. So, we have to clearly find out the value after 6 months. That is, time value is 6 by 12 or just a half a year. Okay. Half year. This is what is the data with us. Now, let us have the uh, find the value of it after 6 months. That's what we are supposed to find out. So, we can write it as face value or we can write it as FV also. The face value, the formula for face value is nothing but 100 into banker's discount divided by R into T. That is what is going to be the face value after six months. Let us use the formula. We have got all the things with us. 100 into banker's discount is 50 divided by rate value is 5 into time value is 1 by 2. Okay. If you solve this further, you're going to reach to a value called as 2000. Okay. So that's what is going to be the face value after six months. Answer called as 2000 let's see where it is available it is available in option number a and becomes the right answer for us now he says the banker's discount on a sum of money is rupees 156 so clearly banker's discount is given to us as 156 rupees and the true discount on the same sum for same time is 130 for the same sum and same time true discount is given to us as 130 the sum due is so this is very simple thing to calculate. We can simply have a single formula and then that can do the job for us. Sum is equal to banker discount into two discount divided by banker discount minus two discount. This is the simple formula. If you apply this, we can have 156 into 130 divided by 156 minus 130. If you solve this, this comes out to be ultimately 780. So that is the right answer. Sum value is 72 rupees, which is available in option number B and becomes the right answer for us. Now, the next one is find the banker's discount on a bill of rupees 2000 due two year hence at 5% per annum. So all the things are given to us. What are all the things? The amount value that is given to us is 2000 rupees. Rate value given to us is 5%. Time value is given to us as two years. So we can have a simple formula of banker's discount and we can find it out there. Okay, rather we are supposed to find out the banker's gain first. We are supposed to find out banker's gain. So that is what is going to be banker's gain is equal to amount into RT whole square divided by 100 into 100 plus RT. That is the banker's gain formula that we're gonna have to use in this particular question. Okay, we have been given all the values so we can simply write those value in the formula and solve it for. Okay, so let us find out amount value is 2000, rate value is already given 5 into time value is 2. So we have to do the whole square divided by 100 as it is 100 plus 
rate value is 5 into time value is 2. Okay, this is what we are supposed to solve. Okay, this is giving us 2000 into 5 into 2 is 10. 10 square is going to be 100 divided by 100 into 100 plus 5 into 2 is 10. So it's going to be 100 into 110. So clearly this 100 and 100 get cancelled out. We can cut this 0 and 0. So ultimately remains 200 by 11. That numerically comes out to be 18.18 approximately percent. Okay, eight, sorry, 18.18. So that is what's going to be the right answer for us. The right answer is 18.18, which is available in option number C. Now, he says the banker's discount or rupees 1520 at 12.2 by 19% is the same as a true discount on rupees 1580 for the same time and at the same rate. Okay, so he says the banker's discount on rupees 1520 at 212 by 19 percent is the same as the true discount on rupees 1580 for the same time and at the same rate, then the time is okay. So clearly, we have been given few things here. Okay, we have been given two schemes in which the things are related. The time and the rate are same for both the schemes. We have to compare them with each other. We have to put the banker's discount of the first scheme equal to the true discount on the other one. And then we can find out things like that. So let us write that in words what has been given to us. The thing that has been given to us is present worth of rupees 1580. Okay, present worth of rupees 1580 is how much? As they write, banker's discount on rupees 1520 is the same as true discount on 1580. Okay, so clearly we can write present worth of rupees 1580 is how much? Is obviously 1520, that is the banker discount. Okay, that's what he has said, is same. So present worth of rupees 1580 is simply 1520. Okay, now let us find out. Uh, how much is the simple interest? Okay, he says the banker's discount is 295% is the same as the true discount of 1580. Let's find out that true discount. That is going to be always 1580 minus 1520. How much is that? Rupees 60. So whatever is the uh, whatever is the interest value is nothing but the difference between the uh, banker's discount and the true discount only. Uh, that's what we have calculated as 60 rupees. So clearly we can write that SI on rupees 1520 at the rate percent is 212 by 19. 212 by 19 percent is nothing but rupees 60. This has been given to us. In this situation, the rate fact, the time factor is missing. So we can always add the time factor in the scene of simple interest formula. Okay. We can have the formula for time is equal to simple interest into 100 divided by principal into rate principal is sum here so let us put the value simple interest is 60 into 100 as it is principal value is nothing but 1520 that's what the interest is laid over into the uh, the time the rate factor is 19 to 38 plus 12 is 50 so it's 50 by 19 so we can write here 50 by 19 as for the time case let us solve this further if you solve this further this is ultimately coming out to be 3 by 2 which is nothing but 1 1 and a half year so that is what is going to be the time factor 1 1 and a half year available in option number d and becomes the right answer for us now find the present worth of rupees 400 due three year hence reclaiming Simple interest at 2% per annum. Okay, these are the things that has been given to us. What all is that? Amount is going to be the sum value. Okay, rate percent is giving, uh, R is the rate percent per annum. Okay, how much is that rate percent per annum given to us? The rate percent per annum is given to us as 2%. Sum value is already given to us as 400. Okay, time factor that has been given to us is 3 years. All the things is already provided to us. We just have to simply use the formula of present worth. Present worth formula is going to be 100 into amount or the sum divided by 100 plus RT. This is the very simple formula of present worth. If we use this formula, we're going to get to the answer as 100 into amount is 400 divided by 100 plus RT. R value is 2 into T value is 3. Okay. If you solve this equation, this expression further, you're going to reach to the final value as divided by 100, 106. If you cut down the numbers and take it into decimal, the final value that is reaching is 377.35. That is the present worth of the situation given to us, which is available in option number B becomes the right answer for us. Now, find the sum due 
four months hence at nine percent if the true discount is 120 okay so clearly we can have a simple formula and use it also what has been given true discount is given as 120 rate value is given as nine percent okay time factor that is given as four months that that is going to be four by 12 that is one by three of a year okay everything is given to us we again have to use the simple formula of present for that is nothing but 100 into true discount divided by right into time if we use this we have got all the values so it's going to be 100 into uh, 120 divided by rate percentage 9 into time factor is 1 by 3 okay if we cut down things like this 3 3 are 9 and this 3 can cut this 120 by 40 so clearly it is coming out to be 4000 rupees so that is the right answer the present war in the same situation becomes 4000 available in option number C and becomes the right answer for us now they say bankers gain on a bill due 6 months hence at 12% is rupees 210 what else what all it does it give us banker gain is 210 rate value is 12 percent time factor is six one that is six by 12 is equal to one by two of a year we are supposed to find out the banker's discount okay that is going to be simple we can have the formula of the banker's discount or the true discount also let us use the formula of uh, true discount because the banker discount can be calculated by true discount plus the banker's gain this is what we already know banker's discount is true discount plus banker's gain so first of all we'll use the formula of uh, true discount and using that we can uh, get the banker discount always so, so the true discount formula is banker's gain into 100 divided by r into t that is what is the true discount formula we know all the values banker's gain is 210 into 100 divided by rate value is 12 into time value is 1 by 2 if we solve this further, we can cut down few things and get the answer, which is coming out to be 3500. Okay, that's what is true discount coming. Now we can use the for later formula, which says banker's discount is going to be true discount plus banker's gain. So it is going to be 3500 plus banker's gain was 210. If you add them together, this is coming out to be 3710 rupees and it is available in option number A itself. That is going to be the right answer. Now, the interest on a certain sum of money is rupees 67.20. So clearly the SI has been given to you. And the discount on the same sum of money for the same time. See, same sum, same time at the same rate. So all three things are same is rupees 60. So the discount is rupees 60. Okay. What is the sum? So clearly we are supposed to find out the sum when the rate and time both are same. Okay. Interest on the first part is given and the discount on the other part is given. And we can find out the sum in this situation easily. What has been given? C. Interest on sum minus the true discount is always going to be interest on true discount. Interest on true discount. Okay. Whenever you are supposed to calculate the interest on true discount, what will you do? Interest calculated on the sum minus the true discount is always interest on the true discount. This is what we already know. So what we can do interest on the sum. How much is that? is given as 67.20 in the question minus true discount that is also given that is 60 and that is good what is going to be interest on true discount that is 60 rupees okay interest on 60 rupees so how much that comes out to be that comes out to be 7.20 that comes out to be 7.20 which is nothing but 7 1 by 5 we can write it as that in decimal also we can write that in fraction also it will not make any difference okay so clearly we can write that interest on 60 rupees is 7 1 by 5 rupees okay so what we can do if interest on uh, 60 rupees is 7 1 by 5 rupees then we can write 67 1 by 5 is equal to interest on 60 divided by 7 1 by 5 into 67 1 by 5 this is how we will doubt we will write interest on rupees now interest on rupees 60 was 7 1 by 5 so interest on rupees 60 divided by 7 1 by 5 into 67 1 by 5 will be how much is exactly 67 1 by 5 so this is where we can find out the required sum the sum is going to be now if you solve this particular expression of maths then we can solve this as 60 into 5 divided by 36 into 67 1 by 5 is 67 into 67 is into 5 is going to be 335 plus 1 is 336 so it is 336 by 5 
which if you solve this, this 5 and 5 gets cancelled. Okay. You can cut down this 36 and 66, 10, just 66, 6, just 36. You can cut down this 336 using 6 also. And ultimately, is coming out to be 560. So that is what is the sum value. Rupees 560. Where it is available, let's see. It is available in option number A itself. And is the right answer for us. Now, the present worth of a certain sum due sometime, hence is rupees 1600. Clearly given present worth is 1600. True discount is 160. That is also given. True discount is going to be 160. What is the banker's gain? So clearly we are supposed to find out the banker's gain. This is going to be easy. Okay, there is a single formula that can relate to uh, present for true discount and banker's gain. All, what is that formula? Banker's gain is going to be true discount whole square divided by present fourth okay this is that formula banker's gain is true discounts whole square divided by present fourth if we use this formula we can easily get to the things but true, true discount is 160 as given we have to do the whole square of this divided by present fourth is 1600 if you solve this further you can do this by 160 into 160 divided by 1600 clearly this zero and zero goes out Okay, the 16 can cut 116. So ultimately, it comes out to be 16 rupees. So the banker's gain is how much? Is nothing but 16 rupees. Okay, so it is available in option number C and becomes the right answer for us. Now, the true discount on a bill of rupees 620 is rupees 31. Then the banker's discount is clearly what is given to us. The true discount value is given to us is 31. Okay, what else he can we can find out? Okay, true discount is 31. We are supposed to find out the banker's discount. Okay, so we need to have banker's gain. Okay, how we can take this as? We can take this as present worth is how much? Present worth is going to be the uh, difference of uh, the sum minus the true discount. The present worth is always going to be the difference of sum minus the true discount. How much is the sum? Is going to be 620 minus the true discount is 31. So present worth becomes how much? Rupees 589. That is what is the present worth. Now, there is clearly has given uh, the true discount below 620 is 31. Then the banker's discount is supposed to be calculated. So clearly what we can do, simple interest on this present worth. That is how much? 589 is clearly what? Is clearly what is the true discount? That is nothing but 31. So clearly we can understand SI on 589 rupees is 31. Simple interest on 589 rupees is 31. So how much is going to be the simple interest on 620? Simple interest on 620. If we go by the unitary method, simple interest of 589 is 31. So simple interest on 1 will be 31 by 589. So simple interest on 620 will be 31 by 589 into 620. That is a simple unitary method. We don't need to go into very detail of it. Okay, if you solve this further, this comes out to be 32.63. So that's what is going to be the simple interest on 620. And simple interest on 620 is nothing but the simple interest on 620 is nothing but the banker's discount itself. So clearly we have the answer. Banker's discount is nothing but 32.63 rupees. Let's see where it is available. It is available in option number A and becomes the right answer. Now... <clears throat> The true discount on a certain sum at a certain rate for four years is rupees 100. Okay, clearly he has given true discount as rupees 100. Time value he has given as four years. What is what he wants us to calculate on the same sum uh, is rupees 100. On the same sum at same rate and same time, interest is rupees 120. So the clearly the interest value is given to us as 120. We are supposed to find out the sum value. Okay, so. Let us see how much on uh, in on how much amount the interest has been laid. See the value of uh, uh, the interest on interest is rupees 120. In the other scheme, the interest is 120. In the older scheme, the true discount is coming out to be 100. So this simple interest minus true discount is nothing but the interest. The next interest is laid on how much? Okay, the interest value is rupees 20. Okay, so clearly interest value is rupees 20. And how much this interest is laid over? This interest is laid over only 100 rupees. Okay. So interest on true discount value is rupees 20. What is the true discount? Is rupees 100 itself. So clearly we can write interest on rupees 100 is simply 20. Okay. Interest on rupees 100 is 20. So interest on rupees 1 will be how much? 20 by 100. So in the same way, 
how much will be the rupees 120 interest on so we can clearly write rupees 120 will be the interest on how much will be the interest on 100 by 20 into 120 okay we have got the next interest as 120 and this will be would have been laid over what principle this would have been laid over the principle of of 100 by 20 into 120 if you solve this this comes out to be 600 so if the interest on rupees 100 is 20 so interest of 120 will would have been laid over over 600 rupees so that is what is the right answer 600 which is available in option number c and it becomes the right answer Question number 30, the present worth of a sum due sometime hence is rupees 1800 and the true discount is 25, 25 rupees. So what is given to us? The true discount is given to us as rupees 25. Okay, the present worth of a sum due sometime hence is rupees 1800. So present value is given to us as 1800. The two things have been given to us. We are supposed to find out the banker's gain as given as asked in the question so clearly we can write simple interest on rupees 1800 that is the present worth is rupees 25 as we can see simple interest on present worth equal to true distance true discount always so simple interest on 1800 rupees is 25 so simple interest on 1825 will be how much using the same unitary method Simple interest on 1800 is 25. So simple interest on 1 rupees will be 25 by 800. So simple interest on 1825 will be 25 by 1800 multiplied by 1825. Okay. If you solve this further, this comes out to be 25.35. Okay. That's what is going to be the simple interest on rupees 1825. 25.35. Okay. Now, True discount is how much? Rupees 25. And banker's discount is given to us already as, uh, we have already calculated banker discount as 25.35. Now we can have the simple formula of banker's gain that is banker's discount minus true discount. If you subtract these values together, 25.35 minus 25 is nothing but 0 0.35. So that is going to be the right answer. Rupees 0 0.35 is the banker's gain available in option number C and becomes the right answer for us. Okay, so the question says, if the interest on rupees 50 at 4.5% be equal to the discount of rupees 59, for the same time at the same rate when the when is the later sum due okay when is the later sum due means when is the next that the later sum that is 59 is given is due so we are supposed to calculate the time as he has asked for when is the later sum due so we are obviously supposed to calculate the time value as in the questions data given so we can understand the things what all has been given to us see he says the interest on rupees 50 at 4.5%. So clearly the rate value is 4.5%, which is nothing but 9 by 2%. That is the rate value we equal to discount of rupees 59. Okay, so discount of rupees 59. So there are two things being compared if you look at it carefully. First thing on the left hand side, we can take as interest on rupees 50 at 4.5%. So we can use a simple, simple interest formula, which is simple interest is equal to principal into rate into time over 100. Okay. How much is that? The principal value, he says, interest on rupees 50. So 50 is the principal interest. Rate value is 9 by 2. That's what has been converted into time value is unknown. So let us keep it as T divided by 100. So this is the simple interest. And this is being equal, he says, this is equal to the discount of rupees 59 for the same time and at the same rate and the same later later for the same thing okay so we can we can use the formula of true discount here okay the second part is the interest the equal to the discount so that is the debankers discount that has been calculated as the uh, true discount of rupees 59 so true discount into rate into time over 100 plus rt that's what is the later part of it okay so and that is how much equal to true discount is coming as 59 into rate value is again he says for the same rate so r value is again the same he says for the same time but that same time is not given to us so let us have t again here divided by 100 plus rt so it's going to be 100 plus r value is 9 by 2 t value is unknown so we'll keep it like that only so these two things he says are equal so if we equate them and let us try to solve them so we will be able to get something 
let us equate them if we equate them 50 into 9 by 2 into t divided by 100 is equal to 59 into 9 into t by 2 over 100 plus 9 by 2 t so the two the two of the things have been equated to each other as stated in the question also and let us try to solve this okay we can cut down few things this two can cut this 50 by 25 similarly this 25 can cut this 100 by 4 so here also we can cut few things as 59 so obviously 2 cannot cut 59 so this way we can solve things okay this 100 plus 9 by 2 t can further be solved okay this 2 can come down so by ultimately solving this we get reached to a single confusion single conclusion that is 200 plus 9 t is equal to 236 okay if we solve this further obviously 90 is going to be 236 minus 200 that is nothing but 36 so t value comes out to be 36 by 9 that is 4 years that's what he was asking when is the sum due he was asking then the same rate when is the later sum due so the time value has come out for us as 4 years it is available in option number b so becomes right answer for us now he says the true discount on a certain sum of money due five years time value is five hence is rupees 300 so true discount value is already given to us as 300 okay time value is given to us as five years in the question and the simple interest on the same sum for same time at the same rate is 400 simple interest value has been given as 400 to us simple interest value is given to us as 400 what he's wanting us to calculate is wanting us to calculate the sum so here we can use a simple formula of sum and which can relate all these values the formula is sum is equal to simple interest into true discount divided by simple interest minus true discount let us put all the values that we have simple interest is 400 simple interest is 400 into true discount is 300 divided by simple interest is 400 minus true discount is 300 if you solve this further this comes out to be this is 12 and 4 times 0 divided by 400 minus 100 is 100 so if you cut down things like that we're going to get two zeros cut so we are left out with 1200 rupees so that is going to be the sum for us 1200 which is available in option number dn is the right answer now he asked the banker's gain on a bill due one year hence at 12 percent per annum is rupees six so what all has been given to us the things that is given as banker's gain is given to us as rupees six okay the rate percent value is given to us as 12 percent time given to us is one year what he wanting us to calculate he's wanting us to calculate true discount so clearly we have a simple formula for true discount in terms of banker's gain what is that true discount is always banker's gain into 100 divided by rt that is a simple formula okay true discount is the formula is this let us have all the values placed in their places 6 into 100 divided by 12 into 1 Okay, you can cut down things 6 to 12 and 2 can cut this 100 by 50. So clearly the true discount value comes out to be rupees 50 and it is available in option number B clearly. So that is the right answer. Now he says true discount on rupees 2650 due one year hence is rupees 250. The rate of interest per annum is what? So this is what is the things asked to me. So true discount is already given to us to discount value given to us is rupees 250 okay we are supposed to and then he says the time value is given to us as one year okay to discount of 260 by one year has 250 okay the sum value is also given to us as 2650 rupees okay some value is also given to us as 2650 we are supposed to calculate the rate value so let us have the present worth okay let us know the present worth because on the present worth value then i can apply the simple interest formula because in that situation the rate can be calculated so let us try to find the present worth present worth is always going to be the sum minus the true discount value and the sum here given to us is 2650 minus the present the true discount is 250 so in this way the present worth comes out to be rupees 2400 that is the present worth now clearly the true discount is 250 true discount is nothing but the interest itself okay so we can clearly write si on rupees 2400 that is the present worth si on rupees 2400 that is the present worth and for how much year the time value is one year is simply going to be the true discount that is 250 rupees okay simple interest on the present worth 
is always the two discount. So simple interest on 2400 for one year is going to be 250. So we can use the rate formula or we can use the simple interest formula also. Let's have the rate formula which says simple interest into 100 divided by principal into time. Principal here is the present value. So clearly we can have in place of simple interest, we can write the two discount in 200 divided by present worth is nothing but 2400 multiplied by time value is nothing but one year. Okay, we can cut down few things to solve this like that. So it's going to be 250 by 24, which is nothing but 10.42%. So that is going to be the right answer. Rate value is 10.42%, which is available in option number D. Now, in the next question, he says, find the true discount reclaiming 4% per annum simple interest on rupees 420 due in three years. So we have got few things given to us. Okay, what is the amount value that has been given to us? Amount value is rupees 420 because that's what is the true discount reclaimed over. Okay, 420 is the amount value and the rate value given to us is 4% per annum. Okay, time value that has been given to us is due in three years. So time value becomes three years. Okay, what we are supposed to calculate? We are supposed to calculate the true discount. There is a simple formula for true discount in terms of amount, rate, and time. That is amount into rate into time divided by 100 plus RT. Okay, so let us put all the values and we can easily get the answer. Amount value is 420 multiplied by rate value is 4, time value is 3 divided by 100 plus rate value is 4 and time value is 3. If we keep on solving this, we're going to reach to 420 into 12 divided by 100 plus 4, 3 is 12. So it is going to be 112. Okay, we can cut down few things. We can cut it by 4 also. We can cut it by 2 also. If we cut it by 4, then it gives us 4, 4 2 ja 8, then it is 3, 4, 8 ja 32, 4, 1 ja 4, and 4, 0, 5. So it is 28 by 5. We can cut both the numbers by 7 also, 7, 4 ja 28, and this is going to be 15. Okay, so it's going to be and this 4 can cut this 12 by 3. So it's clearly coming out to be 15 into 3. That is nothing but 45. So that is what is the true discount value. Rupees 45 available in option number D and becomes the right answer for us. Let's have the next one. Now, find the difference between the simple interest and the true discount on rupees 800 through 3 years hence at 5% per annum. Simple interest. That's what we are supposed to find out. Okay, we are supposed to find out the true discount. Okay, for that case, we have a, again a very simple formula. What is that formula? Okay, let us see what all values has been given to us. There's an amount that has been given to us as rupees 800. Okay, what else has been given to us? Rate value is given to us as 5%. Time value has been given to us as 3 years. These are the th three things that has been given to us. We have to find out here. So, let us find out that true discount is nothing but formula is amount into RT's whole square divided by 100 into 100 plus RT. That is the formula. In front of us, we have all the values given in the data itself. Let us use those values. It's going to be 800 into R values 5. Time value is 3. Whole square divided by 100 into 100 plus R value is again 5 into T value is 3. So let us solve this further. This becomes 800 into 15 square is 225 divided by 100 plus 100 plus 15 that is 115 100 into 115 if you solve this further you can get to a final value as 837.20 so that is what is going to be the right answer available where it is available clearly in option number a and that becomes the right answer for us now what is the next one the banker's gain on a bill due three year hence at five percent is rupees 50 find the present for so clearly we are supposed to find out the pw that is the present for that is unknown what has been given to us the banker's gain is given to us as rupees 50 what else has been given to us time value has been given to us as three years rate percent rate value has been given to us as 5%. So these are the things that has been given to us. We are supposed to calculate the present worth. There is a simple formula associating all these variables inside that is going to be present worth is nothing but banker's gain into 100 by RT's whole square. That is a simple formula that can associate all these variables. Present worth is always going to be banker's gain into 100 by RT's whole square. If we use this particular formula, we can easily get the answer. Banker's gain is going to be 50 
100 by RT whole square, that is 100 by R value is 5 into T value is 3 whole square. If you solve this further, this is 50 into 100 square is 10,000 divided by 15 square is 225. Okay, we need to solve this. We can cut both the numbers by 25 easily. So if we cut it by 25, this is 2. If we cut it by 25, this is 9. Now this is 2 by 9 into 10,000. If you solve this further, this is coming 2, 2, 2, 2. 0.22 and this will continue till infinite so we can take it as 2222.2222 till infinite let's see where this particular present worth is available amongst the option it is available in option number d so that is going to be the right answer for us option number d now the simple interest and true discount on a certain sum for a given time and at a given rate are rupees 85 and 80 respectively so clearly the first is simple interest that is equal to 85 rupees. Next one is true discount that is equal to 80 rupees. Two values have been given to us. We are supposed to find out the sum value. So if we have a formula associating the true, simple interest and true discount and giving us the sum, that will be a very good thing for us. And that's what we have. That is the formula. Sum is equal to simple interest into true discount divided by simple interest minus true discount. This is a direct formula. If we use this direct formula, we're going to get to the answer. Simple interest is 85. True discount is 80 divided by 85 minus 80, which gives us 85 into 80 divided by 5. We can cut this. 5 can cut 80 also. 5 can cut 85 also. 16 times. Then 16 into 85 we are supposed to do. If we do this, 16, 5, 80 is 0 is the value 8 is the carry 16 16 8 ja, we have to do is 128 128 plus 8 is going to be 136 so it is sum is coming out to be 1360 let's see where it is available it is clearly available in option number c so becomes the right answer for us now find the banker's discount if present worth pw of a bill due four months hence is rupees 162 and the true discount on the bill is 54 let us see what all value has been given to us they have given us the true discount value as rupees 54 what has been given to find the banker the present worth of bill due four months so present worth has been given to us is 162 the time value has given to us as four months we can convert this easily into year that is four by 12 of a year why we had done it by 4 by 12 because a year has got 12 months so 4 months will be in how many in will be in years is 4 by 12 that is nothing but one third of year okay 4 month period is nothing but a one third of year these all data that we have what are we supposed to calculate we are supposed to calculate the banker's discount let's have the formula associating the banker's discount banker's discount is always true discount plus banker's gain that is the formula of banker's discount but right now we don't have the banker's gain we have the we have the total discount true discount value but we don't have the banker's gain so first of all we'll have to calculate the banker's gain from all these data given to us so let us find out the banker's gain there's a formula for banker's gain the formula is true discount whole square divided by present for that is the formula for banker's gain if we apply this formula we can get to the Banker's gain, true discount is 54. So it's going to be 54 square divided by present worth is 162. We can write this as 54 into 54 divided by 162. Okay. If you solve this further, this is this, this is directly coming out to be this 54 can cut this 162 by 3. And this 3 can cut this 54 by 18. So it is coming out to be 18. So that is what is the banker's gain coming 18. If you put this banker's gain value back in the formula, we can reach to the banker's discount. That is, banker discount is nothing but true, true discount that was given to us as 54 minus 54 plus the banker's gain that has come out to be 18. So 54 plus 18 is 72 rupees. So that's what is going to be the banker discount. And the final value is rupees 72. Where it is available, it is available in option number D and is the right answer for us. Now, that's that's what he say. A sum of rupees two five five zero is borrowed to be paid back in two years by two equal annual payments. Four percent compound interest being allowed. What is the annual payment? So this is clearly a MI based question in which the installment have to be paid to clear off a debt. Okay, for that case, we can use a simple formula to to find out the present value of any of the installment. Okay, present value of any of the installment that could be first installment, second installment and so on. Let's say the present value of the first installment. How we can calculate the present value of the first installment? 
or we can say the first annual payment there is a direct formula associating that can be the annual payment the formula is annual payment divided by 1 plus rate divided by 100 this is the first one this this is formula is for the first one that is annual payment divided by 1 plus r by 100 this will be the first uh, this will be the present value of the first payment in the same way if you want to calculate the second payment the second payment can be calculated or the second installment can be calculated by the same annual payment the same annual payment that you have to pay divided by 1 plus r over 100 this time around it will be whole square okay and the next time it will be the power simply keep on increasing so this is how we calculate the installments or the pay, uh, first second third and so on payment values okay now let us come back to our question what all has been given to us they have given us the total amount that is to be paid is 2550 okay they have given us the rate percent value also so clearly we can relate this particular question in in this way now let us do it so the annual payment has been not been given to us so we'll have to assume that annual payment he says the annual payments are equal so let us assume the annual payment let the annual payment value is let the annual payment value is rupees x now let us find out the first installment or the first payment okay the first payment can be done by the so formula is there with us first payment can be done by the annual payment that is x divided by 1 plus rate by 100 so rate value is 4 given in the question itself 4 by 100 so that's what is going to be the first payment if you solve this further this 4 can cut this 100 by 25 so it's going to be 1 plus 1 by 25 that is nothing but it ultimately comes out to be 25 by 26 of x so this is going to be the first one okay let us move it further he has said that it to be paid back in two years by two equal annual payments so obviously there will be only two payments done okay only two payments will be done year wise first will be after the one year completed and second will be after the second year is completed first payment we have already uh, calculated in terms of x come out to be 25 by 26 x let us go for the second payment okay formula is still the same but the square will come in the denominator so the second payment that is going to be is nothing but annual payment that is x divided by 1 plus rate value is 4 divided by 100 whole square okay we need to solve this further this is going to be x by 1 plus 4 by 100 is 1 by 25 so it's going to be 26 by 25 whole square okay if you solve this further this comes out to be ultimately 25 square goes up so this is 625 divided by 26 square is in the denominator that is 676 and x remains as it is so this is the second payment this is the first payment he said it is to be paid in two payments only in two years only so the sum of these two payments will actually be equal to the total debt that has been there okay so let us add these payments first payment is 25 by 26 x second payment is 625 by 676 x and in these two payments only the debt will be cleared the total debt was of sum of rupees 2550 so let us equate this to 2550 2550 okay then i am supposed to solve this particular equation let us solve this equation okay we need to take the lcm of 26 and 675 and then need to operate them with the upper half if we do that we can reach to the value of x so x can be calculated in this way as 2550 into 675 divided by 1275 that's what it is ultimately coming out to be by taking the x as common if you simplify this further we can simplify this equation easily so we can cut down these values by 25 also we can cut down these value by starting with 5 also if you cut down all the values the la last part that is coming is x value is 1352 so that is what is going to be the annual payment the annual payment value is nothing but we had assumed it to be x and finally we have calculated the x value to be 1352 let's see where it is available it is available in option number a itself and becomes the right answer for us is 1352